What do T-charts have in common with wrestling? Well, they're both competitive matches where two sides face off against each other to see which is stronger. Except, unlike wrestling, sometimes there isn't always a clear winner in a T-chart. Sometimes it's just nice to see what each side is representing as opposed to the other. A T-chart is essentially a list that divides two opposing sides of a topic. We use them to help us determine which side poses a better argument. They come in the form of pros and cons, advantages against disadvantages, strengths and weaknesses, or comparing and contrasting any two sides of a topic. By visualizing information this way, it's easier to see which side has a stronger argument, and that helps us make better, more informed decisions. They're very simple and straightforward to make, and it's all in the name. You can use the space in the middle above the T to label your topic, and then use the left and right sides on top of the T to label your opposing facets. Then list out your corresponding information beneath it, and it's good. T-charts are incredibly simple to make, and if you need more dynamic T-charts that are legible, stylized, easy to share, and use images, then Lucidchart would definitely be the place to go. Here, you're able to make a T-chart from scratch, or pick one that's already made. We'll show you how to do both. This is the Lucidchart documents page. To get started on a T-chart, you can click on plus documents to create a blank diagram, or you can click on education templates where you can choose from a selection of diagrams that are already made. By doing a quick search for T-charts, we can pick among the results which template we want to use. We see that this T-chart is already made, and all that's left for us to do is fill in our information. But if we wanted to make any changes to the size and style, we're completely able to do so. Let's say we want to make a slightly more complicated and dynamic T-chart from scratch. Back on the Documents page, this time, let's click on Plus Documents and open a blank diagram. For this example, we're going to pick two different sides of a topic and examine how they compare and contrast to each other in different subcategories. We'll take a look at how Hawaii and Alaska joined the Union and became the 49th and 50th state. Both these states have interesting stories of how they came to be admitted into the United States. Let's start with the labels. Drag a shape from the left toolbar out into the canvas. Double click inside the shape to edit the text. To make our T-shape, we can use either shapes or lines. Drag another shape onto the canvas. Using the white squares, we can manipulate the shape into a thin straight line. If we want to use a line instead, first open the right toolbox and turn off the Snap to Grid option under Grid. This makes it easier to manipulate our lines without them automatically connecting to other objects. Using the Properties bar, we can change the thickness of our line. Just be sure the line you want to change is selected and use arrows to choose your line width. You can use the Properties bar to change your lines and shapes, color, font, and size, as well as using other styling options. If we want to use images in our T-chart, click on Search located above the left toolbar, and from here you can perform an easy image or icon search. For our subcategories, let's compare and contrast their physical attributes, how they were accepted into the Union, and why they became states. Let's leave these over here for now and work on physical attributes. Drag a new shape under our label and double-click inside to fill it out with our information. We'll do the same for the other two subcategories as well. There! We now have a well-stylized and well-organized complex T-chart. You can print this chart out and keep it forever, or if you need to share and work on it with someone else, click on Share and enter in your buddy's email address or send them a shareable link. The T-chart is as powerful as it is simple. Visually weighing information against other facets helps us think clearly, have a better understanding, and make smarter decisions. Now that you know how to make a more dynamic T-chart, you can use Lucidchart to cut down on your wrestling time.